Good evening, good evening. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, teacher. Good evening everybody. Oh. Good evening. Oh.
Ok. I don't know why you are so shy today. You don't want to speak. I don't know why. Misael is there. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Hello, sir. Good evening. How are you? Um, I'm very good today. Thank you. And you? Okay. Okay. Nice. Okay, okay. Remember that today we are going to make a review about the different topic that we have started. Okay, let us see the attendance now. Okay, here we go.
Hold on a second, please. Okay, yeah. Ana Beatriz. Present teacher. Okay. Ana Lilian Reyes. Present teacher. Carlos Alberto. Present teacher. Escobar. Present. Eh, Claudia Raquel. Present. Galileo. Present, sir. Okay. Jonathan Vigil. Jonathan. Jose Rodrigo. Rodrigo, Rodrigo, Rodrigo. Juan Carlos Rivas. Juan Carlos. No. Laura Carolina. Present teacher. María Concepción. Present teacher. María Elena. Present teacher. Mayra Veralice. Miguel Ángel. Zaira Marlene. Zaira. Present teacher. Present teacher. Ahí está Zaira. Ahí está Zaira. Misael. Wendy. Present teacher. Jenny. Jenny. No está. Yesenia Lisset. Present teacher. Diego. Present teacher. Brian. Hi teacher. Okay. Okay, based on the my lesson plan, today we are going to make a review about different topic that we have studied.
Okay, hold on a second. Okay, we are going to start talking about the, the vocabulary that we use at the beginning of, the, of this unit. I don't know if you remember. I'm going to share with you some ideas for that. And later on, we are going to discuss about what do you remember about it? Because what we need is just to make a review. Of what this unit. And we call it type of space and method that we are going to use to evaluate a new product. And I consider that uh, you already have some ideas about that. Okay, here we go. Remember that this review that we are going to make today has to be with the midterm exam because these topics are the ones that you are going to, to see it in a uh, in the midterm exam. Okay, let us talk first about the type of test and research measure. What, what do you remember about each one? We already talked about different uh, seven different methods. Then I would like to hear some concept about, about each one. Somebody want to tell me something about the number one? What is the site and handling test? Tell me. Um, teacher, that method, I remember that was about when the customer has the opportunity to take the product, to see it, see the design, the color. Okay, excellent. Somebody else? Uh, this test a good option picture and where the tactile or visual elements are the products. Ah, okay. Excellent. 
What about the, ha the handling? What is that? What do you remember about it? Try to remember, try to remember. That is the main point because we are making a review now. Okay, hello. Teacher. Site, site and handling test uh, is a better option because the client can, can tactile or visual the probe. That is a good experience for the client. Okay, okay. Thank you. What about the second one, use test? What is that? What do you remember about it? What do you remember about this? The consumer can take, the consumer take the probe to be used, in, including the probe, uh, the, the customer can, take in her home or in home, her, her home, Maria. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, their home, they all own home. The consumer can use it in their home. Okay, they can, they can take it to their home in order to test it, right? Yes. Not a tree, but wait. Okay. What else? What else you can tell me? Somebody wants to give me some example about that? About the consumer, they take the product to use it and take it to their home. And, uh, <laughs> Hello. Just one example about this. They use this. Oh, teacher, uh, in this case, maybe when uh, one people uh, use or, or wear a shoe and for a uh, Extended period, uh, safe. Uh, if it's comfort, if uh, durable, etc. Okay. When 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 one pairs, when a pairs, pairs of shoes. Yeah. Now people person. Or for example, when someone wants to, to buy a car or a motorcycle, they have a, 
I, I guess they don't take to their homes, but they have at least an hour maybe to taste the, the car in the city. Yes, sir. It you, you had the opportunity to, to drive it, to feel it, you know. Okay, somebody else, Diego. Teacher, for example, um, a free month of Netflix at the first month. Hello, I can hear you. I don't know if you can hear him, but I can. Let me see what's going on here. Nibisman Internet Service. Teacher, for example, someone company make a replica, I don't know how to say, of their product, and you can go to the home. Okay. What else? Another example of this. I know that you have a lot of examples about this. Uh, cell phone? In the in in the store. They give it to Shen to try it, but at, at the same time you need to pay it, right? The one that I guess Diego was saying is that in Netflix you can have the, the free the, the first uh, month free, but you need to register with your um, credit card number. That means that the next month you need to pay. But I don't know exactly what the next happened. month is. No need to pay it if you don't want. Oh, really? Really? Oh, okay. If you say, no, I don't like it, you are not going to pay. That's right. Oh, okay. Also, you can introduce a number of cards you don't use it. Oh, uh -huh. mm -hmm. I, don't know, I don't know why, uh, uh, how right here, uh, the kind of product works. In my case, I, I, I got Netflix, but uh, I pay it out of the country, you know? And I just say, okay, I, I would like to have a premium. And sometime I buy a car in a 7-Eleven for two years and I paid it and I have it in that way. But not with credit card. I just buy it, buy the car in a 7-Eleven. In a and and I introduce all the details in my computer and I share it with fa my family and, and then I use it. But uh, it's good to know that we can see it in that way. Okay, let us continue with the third one. Okay, what about branded tests? What is that? What do you remember about it? Branded test uh, is when the consumer take a product uh, for uh, for the brand. Uh, the test uh, reflects uh, the experience of the value for the brand. In other words, uh, 
the people have an inclination for the trademark. Uh, for example, if I came to choose between two products, uh, for example, uh, Coca-Cola or Pepsi, uh, the two brands is, is very big, but I choose Coca-Cola. Okay. Because it's the better. Uh, in this case, the test for brand uh, is, is this point. Uh, the people prefer the product for the trademark. Ah, okay. Okay. I like that then that you have a clear idea of all, every every different method so that we can use it in order to test a new product. Okay, somebody else want to say something about it? Uh, also, it's for now the, uh, the value of the brand, like emotions or the concept that the consumer has with the brand. Oh, okay. Okay, excellent. What about the next one? It is, let me see, the blind test. What can you tell me about the blind test? Teacher, is when the people take the product without brand. Mm. Brand it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Somebody else, somebody else? Uh, yeah. I can share if the product is characteristics and you know the brand name and the focus is truly. Okay, no matter the brand, just the different feature and the characteristic. Yeah. Okay, that means that maybe it is called a blind test cause that means that it is look uh, like you are going to test a lotion and you close your eye and you just start smelling and just feeling all the emotion that cause when you smell it, no matter the brand. Okay. What else do we have? And the number five is, what is monadic method? What do you remember about that? This, this method teacher uh, is uh, one of the better method because in this method, uh, the people uh, can use the product humbly, humbly it, and check characteristic, uh, dimension, uh, quality, etc. Uh -huh, okay, excellent. Exactly. That is a monadic method. And, and what about the sequential monadic method? Well, what is the okay, tell me for for example when the customers take the product and after that he take other product and he compare the product okay What else? Somebody else? 
Remember that we, we have a, a monadic method and at the same time we have a sequential monadic method. What, what is the difference between of them? What is the difference entre ambos? In the monadic, you already told that uh, you can use the product, you can cite it, you can handle it, and you can write it. But what about a uh, sequential method? In the monadic method, the consumer uh, read it later. Okay. First, they uh, use a product in real circumstances. Okay, okay. In the sequential monadic method, uh, they rate uh, the probes in the moment, I think. Mm. Maybe it could be in a different way because in the sequential, the consumer does not rate both products again each other yes i can see a difference between right in one case they write later in the other case they write it in in the moment the sequential process is the same in the rest of the concepts yes it is Okay, and let us talk about the last one, the peer comparison test. What do you remember about that? Me, me teacher, is com compare um, two products. What is good? Oh, okay. Okay, what else, somebody else? Somebody else wants to give me a, an example about it, please. For example, uh, two cereals in comparison, the comparison, uh, which, which is better. Which one is better? It's better flavor or consistency or uh, quality. What else? Different aspect. Yes. Okay. Remember that you need to have a, a clear idea about this because uh, at the moment that maybe one day you are going to use it, you need to have in mind all the, the, the aspect that we've been talking about it. Okay. Let us see what else we're going to study here according to the review that we need to make. That is the first part that we need to talk about. Okay, the second topic that we need to study is transition. 
transition us addition. I don't know if you remember something about these words. What can you tell me about it? What do you remember about transition words? Um, someone works and furthermore decides. Ah, oh, okay. Over. Also. Also. Decides. Okay. What else do you remember? You work and you working when you give more information or additional information about something. Okay, previous to that, um, I remember we talked about uh, the bear agreement with complex subject. Do you remember that? That we we're uh, doing some exercises about this that we have it uh, on page number, let me see, it is 18. That is the subject that is preceded by a fraction of quantity that I call it, I remember that I told you to, to call it complex subjects. And I remember that uh, we were talking about this and I show you some exercises in order that you solve it. And let me see, uh, I'm going to refresh your memory. In order that you can remember it. Okay, I don't know if you are going to be able to see it. And I remember that I have it in a in a color way in order that you can see it very well. But let me show you this. Okay, so please send me you that you make a screenshot. I need to get bigger. I got it there. I don't know if you can see it very well. I don't know if you remember that maybe we resolve some of this. This we call it error analysis about subject bear agreement. You are going to correct the error in the subject bear agreement, and some sentences contain no error. For example, the one, the first one, the book is uh, in my office, are very valuable to me. Why we switch is to are because we have a plural name here. And the ten, a second one, all of the window in our house were broken in the earthquakes. Right here, we have windows and at the same time, we have where? 
that means that we don't have any kind of error. Okay, make a screenshot and I'm going to give you enough time in order that you can find or make some, uh, you can correct the error. And if, if you don't find any error, you are going to write down no error at all, okay? Okay, try to make an screenshot now. I don't know if you can see it very well. If, if not, I can share it, the, the image uh, in the WhatsApp group if you want. Okay. Ya tiene la, eh, la captura o no? Yes. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Okay. Let us start working now, okay? And then we are going to compare the answer. Tranquilo, si a una no le encuentra salida por ningún lado, avance. Que luego la resolvemos, no se preocupe. Acuérdese que este es un ejercicio, no es un examen. Así es que no esté preocupado ni afligido. Ya veo a, ni a, a doña Wendy ahí preocupada. Ay, no, dijo. Teacher. Zaira. Eh, y si la vuelve a poner, por favor, fíjese que a mí el Inter me sacó y voy entrando de nuevo. Ah, ok, no hay problema. Ahorita. Si no, se las envío, como ya dije. Ah, y si me la envía el WhatsApp, mejor así. Ah, por ahí está. Ah, ok, gracias. Okay. I want to see your faces working.
Okay. Okay, um, if you want, we can do it together. Uh, we can start from number one in order, and we can solve it. Just tell me if you want that we can do it in this way. Because what we what we can see is just the way that you are going to resolve. Okay, what about the number three? Who who wants to read it? Number three, please. Me, teacher. Okay. 
all of the employees in that company uh, uh, with the answer, if it is necessary. Yeah, yeah, you, okay. you, can, okay. you, can, you can include the answer. All right, it says all of the employees in that company are required to be proficient in a second language. Okay, are required. Okay, what is the reason why we choose uh, R? Because, because, uh -huh, because at the beginning we have all. So the preposition of uh, has the employees, which is in plural. Okay, okay. So the, the, the sense is in plural. Okay, thank you. Number four. Who wants to read it? Number four. Me, teacher. Okay, number four. A lot of the class work, work, during the day and attend class in the evening. Okay. I think the mistake is in works. Ah, okay. I guess, but... You are not sure. Please let me know. Yeah, I think I am sure, but please let me know <laughs> if that is correct. <laughs> okay, a few can see at the beginning, a lot of people, a lot of people mean plural in my class word. That means you can use inflection only when you are using the third singular person. And in this case, you are talking about a lot of people. Yeah, exactly. Okay. And the, the thing happened with the verb attend. Lo mismo sucede con el verbo attend. No está siendo usado con una tercera persona. Por lo tanto, ahí hay otro error. Two mistakes. Yes, two, two mistakes. Two inflection that we don't need it. Okay, let us continue. Number five. Oh, uh, okay, let me see. Okay, what about number five? wants to read it. Only one, please. <sighs> no sense. Volunteer who wants to read it? Me teacher. Un voluntario que quiera leerla. Me teacher. Number five, right? Yes. Okay, it says listening to very loud music at work at rock concerts has caused hearing loss in some teenagers. Okay. What do you think about this sentence? Do you think that there is a mistake there or not? Um I I change have in to has. Ah, uh -huh. okay, explain us why. Uh, because uh, as we can see at the beginning, we have listening. So that term or that issue is considered in a singular way maybe or too general. So that's why we keep it in, 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 in singular way. Yes, because that's we are... We are talking about music. Uh -huh. 
So uh, I guess uncountable in general terms always are considered singular. Yes. All right. For that reason, we need to use has. Okay. Thank you. Espero que los demás vayan tomando apuntes el por qué. Si tienen alguna pregunta, por favor, háganla. Ok, number six. Número seis. Me, teacher. Ok. Many of the satellites orbiting the Earth are used for communications. Satellites orbiting the Earth are used for communication. Okay, why you use are? Because are many, many satellites. Uh, satellites, okay, muchos satellites. Okay, let me check out the attendance now before we continue. Let me see it here. Let me check it. Okay, Ana Beatriz. Present teacher. Ana Lilian, se me durmió Bautista, se me durmió Escobar, se me durmió Claudia, Present. Francis, Francis, No está. Galileo. Jonathan. Here, sir. Ok, Here, Jonathan. Sir. Jonathan, thank you. Rodrigo. Present. Ok, Juan Carlos Rivas. Juan Carlos. No. Laura Carolina. María Concepción. Present. María Elena. Present, teacher. Mayra Veralice. Present, teacher. Ahí está. Miren, ustedes dicen no, no está. Miguel Ángel. <ríe> ok. I'm just kidding. Miguel Ángel. No. Zaira. Present teacher. Misael. Present teacher. Wendy. Present teacher. Jenny. Present teacher. Ahí está. Lisette. Present teacher. Diego. Present teacher. And Brian. Present teacher. Ok, the rest of the sentences I'm going Teacher, to... Escobar también. Please. Ah, Escobar, I, I call you Escobar. Lo llamé Escobar, lo llamé, lo llamé. Estaba busy, maybe. Ok, Escobar, Escobar is there. I got Escobar. Ok, the rest of the sentences I'm going to let you chat it. With somebody else, let me see here. Okay, I got a team. Okay, uh, what you are going to do is just that you are going to compare with somebody else and discuss, and later on, we are going to, to talk. But try to discuss. Traten, por favor, de con el compañero. En discutir la razón por la cual debemos de usar X o Y palabra y luego la, lo, lo comparamos acá. Ok. Para que no les cueste. Fue menos de ese ok. 
Si no les gusta, les doy más. Ok, there we go.
Okay, let us check it. What about number seven? Number no. seven. Okay, number seven, number okay, seven. Okay, I'm sorry. Number seven. Hey, teacher. In absence of my parents, may I? Yes. Number seven. The news about the long range effects of air pollution on the development of are disturbing. I think the war is replaced, but are. Ah. Do you agree, teacher? Let, let us see what somebody else said about this sentence before I give you the answer. Somebody wants I'm to sorry. The development is singular. Ah. But maybe. Uh, we need to see the subject. What, what is the subject? The news. <laughs> okay. News is in plural. No, it's singular. I, I, okay, okay. The news. Be careful about that. Do you remember what I told you? The news. It is singular. Singular. For the reason we uh, use is, that means that we are not going to make any 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 changes about it. Okay. I I remember that I show you a chart. Me recuerdo que les mostré un cuadro donde aparecían algunas así como esas. And also um, I show you something like. Some countries like United States, Filipinas, and something like that. Do you remember that? Yes. Okay. Is clear, uh, Galileo? Yes, sir. Okay. Number eight. Teacher, excuse me. Okay. Uh, the the num the number uh, seven. Is correct. Eh, eh, toda la sentence. Yes. ¿Verdad? Okay. Thank you, teacher. Okay. You're welcome. No necesitamos hacer ningún cambio ahí. Okay. Number eight. Eight sería Chinese has more that victim. Those has rights. Writing characters. Okay, could you read it again? Chinese have more than 15,000 
has written characters. Written characters. Written characters. Okay, could you tell us why you use has? Yes, teacher. ¿Por qué? Díganos, ¿por qué usa has? For Chinese is country, is singular. In this, in this uh, time, we are talking about the, lang the language. We are talking English. About, yeah, we are talking Chinese. about... Chinese. Yes. Oh, sorry, oh, but it's singular. <laughs> yeah, yes, it is. It is singular. Okay. Um, number nine. Number nine. My teacher. Okay. About two thirds of the Vietnamese work in agriculture. Ah, uh -huh, okay. Tell us why you use the the word work. Because two thirds is in singular. Two thirds of Vietnamese. In singular or plural? Singular. Dos tercios. Yes. No, it's plural. But yeah. it, for this is work. Yeah. Without S. It's correct, Diego. Work. Ah, okay. It's yeah, plural. Right. Sorry. No, no, no. I mean, what I'm trying to tell you. Lo que estoy tratando de decirles es que en la palabra work va a quedar sin S. ¿Por qué? Yes. ¿Por qué va a quedar sin S? Porque uh, estamos hablando de dos tercios. Entonces no puede ser con S, words, sino que work. Porque estamos hablando de algo plural. ¿Ok? Ok, dicho. Okay, number 10. Number 10, who wants to read it? ¿Quién lo lee? Por favor, el número 10. A number of planes were villages due to the snowstorm. The snowstorm in Denver. Okay, do you consider that we need to correct something? Uh, or not? I think so, yes, plain uh, where because I speak about the plain. Okay. There is no mistake in the number 10, okay? No hay error en la número 10. 11. Who wants to read it? La 11. Only one, please, only one. Me, teacher, I, I don't know. Um, 11. Okay. The number of pa passengers affected by the delays was great. Okay, tell me. It is right or wrong? Mm, I don't know because the number the passenger affected by the delays was great. Not error. No error? For me, no. 
Okay. Okay, because he's talking about number. A number. The reason uh, we, we are using was great. Okay. Is that clear? 11? Yes. Yes. Uh, Escobar, are you there? Did this clear for you, Escobar? Not sure, teacher. Ah, okay. ¿Qué es lo que no tiene claro? In the eleventh. Yes. Uh, and the numbers. Well. Sí, me creería que es true entonces. No error. Sí, pero necesito que haya una claridad, una explicación clara. Because the number of passengers affected by the delays was great. Alguien podría decir, no, es que aquí tengo passenger, por lo tanto es where. Pero recuerde que aquí está diciendo el número es uno. El número. Ok. Después dice de pasajeros afectados. Eh, es grandioso. O fue grandioso. Por lo tanto, no hay cambio. No sé si me comprende. No, teacher, disculpe, no, no me quedó claro. Ok. Me lo imaginé. And I'm going to tell you why. Okay, uh, if you see, si miramos la oración 11, dice the number of passengers, el número. Esa palabra es singular o es plural? singular. Ah, ok. Entonces, nos vamos a, porque el sujeto es, al final el sujeto es aquí, el número de pasajeros. Ese es el sujeto. ¿Sí? Pero sí. aquí alguien, alguien podría decir, ah, no, este voy a usar where porque aquí dice pasajeros, pero estamos hablando del número. ¿Sí? Ah, ok. El número de pasajeros afectados was great, fue grandioso. Entonces, por eso es que usamos ese. Acuérdese que el, el, el sujeto, como ya le dije, eh, es completamente todo, the number of passengers. Ese es el sujeto. ¿Y el predicado cuál sería? Affected by the delays was great. Creo que... Sí, 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 me comprendió. Sí, teacher, uh, entendí. Gracias. Ok. Number 12, número 12. Who wants to read it? Is yes, more men that women are left-handed. Is correct, teacher. Ok, number 12 is correct. More men than women are left handed. Okay. We have we have are because we are talking about men and women in plural. Number 13. Number 13. Every girl and boy are required to have a certain immunization before enrolling in public school. What do you think? I think is singular. 
Okay. We need to replace okay. R for is because the expression say say every yes. every is one. Okay. Every okay, every girl and boy. Yeah. Is required to have a certain immunization, okay? Ahí debe ser is. Yes. Okay. Is clear for the rest of the class? Yes, yes teacher. Yes, teacher. And the last one of this exercise. 75% of the people in New York City lives in upstairs apartment, not on the, on the ground floor. What is the error there? Oh, we don't have any error. Just tell me. I think they there are not any mistake. Okay, somebody else? Is no, the correct answer? Teacher, I think lives is without S. Ah, okay, you got it. You bingo, you got a point. Because if you see, said 75% of the people, el 75% de las personas in New York City live, no lives in upstairs apartments, not on the ground floor. Okay. Okay, teacher, I saw just one percent, but uh, yeah, I, yeah, 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 yeah. You take a look on the just uh, when say seventy five percent. Yeah, but then right. say of people in New York. Okay. Okay. I I, I, I also remember that I I talk I I mentioned something uh when some proper names and in S like the United States and so on, uh, that sometimes we think that they are plural, but in fact, they, uh, they are singular. Okay, based on that, I already sent you the next exercise that you have it in the group. Ya lo tienen ahí en el grupo. Uh, we already saw some of these sentences. Ya resolvimos algunas de estas oraciones. Just continue with the, the one that we didn't answer it the last class. I don't know if you can see it. I'm talking about exercise number 10, I guess, is the one that I'm. Sure, may you share it, please? Okay, hold on. Let me see here if it is this. Okay, we are going to talk about this first and later on we are going to talk about the next one. And I remember that we already talked about this and we resolved some of them. I guess it's this. Okay, choose the correct answer in parentheses. I remember we already talked about this exercise and we resolved, I guess, until number 10. 
the la in the last class in the previous previous one i don't know if you remember it some of the fruits in this bowl is or are rotten do you remember yes sir okay and i guess that we work until number 10 más creo que hicimos hasta la número 10 I don't know if you remember. No sé si se recuerdan. But if, if you don't remember, just try to resolve from one to maybe 15 or it's up to you. I remember we answers until uh, 12. Ah, 12. Yes, of course it is. Okay, okay. Let us try to resolve number 13 in order that we can continue working. The number of employees in my company is or are? Is approximately 10,000. Make a decision. Is. Remember that we are we are talking about the number, okay? Okay, one of the chief material in bones and teeth is or are calcium. Is. Thanks. Okay, I, I consider that you already have uh, the image. I'm going to stop chatting. Voy a dejar de compartirla and I'm going to create a breakout room and you can discuss why you are designing is or are. I'm going to give you five minutes in order that you can talk about it. Okay, I'm going to switch. I'm going to recreate again. Then let us talk about it. And later on, we are going to discuss.
Teacher, more time. More time? Well, let, let us do it together here in order that you can resolve it. Don't worry about it. Okay. Number 13, who wants to read it? Thirteen. The number, the number of employees in my companies is approximately 10,000. It's approximately 10,000. Okay, that is right. Correct. Next one, number 14. Me or Yesenia? Oh, okay. Diego. Wendy, come on. Okay. <laughs> One of the chief materials in bones and teeth is calcium. Se comprende esa por qué por qué es is. Yes, teacher. Because we have a number. One of. One of. Okay. El resto comprendió por qué quedó is. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Okay. Yes, teacher. For a rule. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Okay, number 16. No, 50. No, 50. Does, does all of the children have their books? What is the right one? That's a two. Is do teacher. 
Is do teacher. Okay, do all. Okay. Yes, Oscar is do. No puede ser das porque no tenemos. Eh, estamos hablando de, de algo en plural. Sí. Okay, sixteen. Yes, uh, does all of the this homework how to be finished by tomorrow? By tomorrow, all of by this tomorrow. homework, all of this homework have to be finished by tomorrow. Do you think that is do or it is does? Does teacher? Does. Mm. Is a this this homework? Okay. Does all this homework have to be finished by tomorrow? That is the question. Okay, seventeen. Sixteen is does teacher. Yes, does. Yes, yes, okay. Number seventeen. Me teacher. Okay. Why were some of the students excused from the examination? Okay, where because we you, you have some of the students. Number eighteen. Why was one of the students excused from the examination? Okay. Why was one of the students excused for the examination? Por qué fue uno de los estudiantes. Está hablando de uno. Okay, nineteen. Siguiente, por favor. What sería what percentage of the people in the world is illiterate? Illiterate. 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 Yes. What is the answer for that? What is the right one? You think it is. It is, is or is are? Is. Okay, what percentage of people in the world is illiterate? Estamos hablando de un porcentaje. Mm -hmm. Do you know what is the meaning of the word illiterate, right? ¿Saben el significado de esa palabra? Sí. Yes. <laughs> We Google. <laughs> ya la googlearon. Ok. 20. What percentage of the earth's surface? Is or are covered by water? Our teacher. Is covered. Hey, <laughs> be careful. Be is. Careful, be careful. Is. Be careful. Why? Because we are talking about a percentage. With the earth 
surface. ¿Qué porcentaje de la superficie de la Tierra is covered by water? Do you know the answer? Do you know the answer to this question? No? ¿Saben la respuesta de esa pregunta? ¿Qué porcentaje de la superficie está cubierta de agua? Three of quarter. Three of quarter is equal to say like 75, but some people say that it is, it is uh, like 70%. And some of the data that are uh, accurate, accurate uh, they said that it is like uh, 68%. Everything is changing. Okay, the last one. Does or do any of you know the answer to the question? No. What is the right one? It is do, okay. Okay, I guess uh, you have a clear idea. And the last one that we are going to resolve is gonna be this one. We already, I remember we were uh, doing some exercises about this one. Let me share it with you. And we are going to resolve on the other miss, the, the one that we missed. Solo vamos a hacer las que nos hicieron falta. It is there. And we can resolve it. Uh, Well, I'm going to give you a little time in order that you can resolve it, okay? I remember we were working on the underpass. Let me see. I'm not pretty sure if we, if we resolve the first tense. Or only just a few of them. Try to remember. Okay, the first one, the United States has or had a population of around 2,050 million. What do you remember about that? How teacher? Yes. How? Yes. Okay. Has teacher has. If you say has, tell me why. If you have, if you say have, tell me why. Has is the, the stay or country. In singular. Ah, I remember that I showed you. Mm. <laughs> uh, me recuerdo que les mostré eh, un cuadrito. I don't know if you remember it too. He is proper known teacher. The N is A E S A N N S. Son nombres propios que finalizan en S y por lo tanto. Mm. 
is in singular uh, noun y no change preposition. Okay, let me show you here. I got it here. Okay, I remember that I show you this. Let me show you. Now that you can remember. Okay, do you remember this chart that I show you? So recuerdan de este cuadro. When we have uh, something like the United States, for example, right here said it's big. And we talk about the Philippines too, consists of more than 7,000 islands. And we talk about the United Nations has its headquarter in New York City. And so right here, I remember that I explained you that sometimes a proper noun that's N in S. Algunas veces, eh, nombres propios que terminan en S is singular. In the example, if the noun is changed to a pronoun, the singular pronoun, it is used, not the plural noun, they, because the noun is singular. The United States is equal to it, not they. ¿Se recuerdan de eso, cierto? Yes? Yes, teacher. Okay. Yes. And also we talk about sciences, fields of study, that I mean, ICA requires singular. I remember that I mentioned, okay. For the reason I, I'm asking you to answer it is, okay, let us see the number two, the news about Mr. Hogan is or are surprising, tell me. Yes. Yes, we have it here, the news is interesting. Mm -hmm because news is singular. And we saw in an example, in the previous example. Okay, what else do we have here? Okay, number three, Massachusetts is or are, I stay in the north, northern part of the United States. Northeastern part of the United States. Now, Easter. Is it is is or are? Is teacher. Is teacher. Is teacher. Okay. Okay, I'm going to give you five minutes in order that you can talk about the rest of the sentences. Maybe it's not going to be enough time, but. We are going to resolve the next one later on. Okay, you are going to work with the same group. Let me see the time that I have assigned it. Okay, and discuss your answer about it, okay? Here we go. Mayra is alone. Mayra, 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 Mayra. Mayra, Mayra is... Mayra Concepción Cerón. And Mayra Vera Lise está sola. I need to assign you to somebody else. Ah, you are going to work with Zaira, Mayra. Mayra, I'm going to send you to room six, I guess. Okay, ahí le digo la invitación. Mayra, acéptela.
Okay, in order to finish, yes, uh, let us talk about number 12. Because I remember that the, the previous one we already discussed. Let us talk about number 12. Rabbits are an infection and often fatal disease. Rabies. 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 Rabies are an infection and often fatal disease. For mm. me, for me, it is, is, is. It is. Yes, it can for me, is is teacher. Okay, tell us why. Díganos por qué. Rabbit is, is, is infection. Rabies, rabies. Is rabies, rabies is infection. And animal. Oh, okay. La rabia. Y ahí se ve así con, con, como que si fuera plural. For the reason it is singular, we use is an infectious and, and often fatal disease. De acuerdo, caballero? Yes. Okay. Next one. The English proud independent people. Is or are? Is teacher. Why? Why is? Why is? The, the English idiom. In that case, it's not talking about language. No, it's a people. All right, language. I, I put R because it's a, a people, a community, independent. Okay, remember that we have a, a, an article here. Tenemos un artículo, los ingleses. See? For the reason we are going to use R. The English are pro independent people. Okay, number four, 14. Number 14. English, English is, is no. <laughs> ah, English is not my native language. Aquí no tenemos un artículo, un determinante, mire. Aquí en este caso no tenemos un determinante. Lo mismo pasó con el 11. The police. ¿Sí? ¿Se recuerdan? Yes, teacher. No, no se recuerda, no se recuerda. Yes, teacher. Ok, ok, the last the number 15, cause of the time, por el tiempo, la última que es la 15. Many Japanese commute or commute to their places of work. What is that? Commute, teacher. With S or without S? With S. S. With S. Con S. But, but what about this one? It is in plural or singular? Many Japanese is in plural. Teacher. Ah, okay. Then you need to use the one that is not mute. using inflection, not inflection. The mute. No vamos, a usar, no vamos a usar inflection porque no está siendo usada con terceras personas. Aquí dice, many Japanese commute to their places of work. ¿Estamos claros? Yes. Okay. Like the shop place. Yes. Okay, let us do the, the, the this 16. Portuguese is or are somewhat similar to Spanish. Isn't it or aren't it? What is that? 
that is going to be the last one. Is teacher. Is an isn't teacher. Okay, is an isn't. Bueno, nos quedan dos. ¿Las dejamos o las hacemos? What about 17? The poor is or are helped by government programs. Are. Are. Okay. They are. The poor are helped by government programs. And the last one? The number... Uh, 18. The effect of a honey sting on a human being depends or depend? Depends. Why? The effect is singular. Ah, ok. El efecto es singular. Muy bien. Continue. Are. On the person's susceptibility to the beast venom. Most people is or are. Are. Most people are not in danger if they are stunned, but there has or have. Has. Has. Mm. But there had been is instance of allergy death from a single honeybee sting. Muy interesante, por cierto, la número 18, el efecto de la picada ¿sí? de una abeja en el humano. Depende de la success, susceptibilidad success, ¿sí? de la persona hacia el veneno. Ok, thank you. Espero haya quedado claro. Pero no como el chocolate, porque así no, no me gusta. Bueno, pasamos la lista y nos vamos. Ya nos tomó la tarde. Ana Beatriz. Yes. Ana Lili. Ana Lili. Carlos Bautista. Present, teacher. Antonio Escobar. Present. Present. Claudia. Present. Francis. Galileo. Present, sir. Jonathan. Rodrigo. Present, sir. Juan Carlos. Laura. Present, teacher. María. Concepción. Present. María Elena. Present, teacher. Mayra. Present, teacher. La habían dejado solita y la fuimos a ayudar a Mayra para que no estuviera sola. Miguel Ángel. Zaira. Present teacher. Santos. Present teacher. Eh, Wendy. Present teacher. Eh, Jenny. Present teacher. Yesenia. Present teacher. Diego. Present teacher. And Brian. Okay. I don't know what is happening because I got an hour in my cell phone and I got another one in my computer. I need to check up the situation. No sé por qué. Será que tengo la zona horaria diferente? pero no se me coordina, no sé por qué. I'm having a problem with that. Y necesito arreglarlo para no pasarnos en el tiempo, porque yo sé que algunos están cansados, han trabajado mucho y necesitan descansar. 
I'm sorry for that. I apologize because I took some minutes. Me disculpo porque me tomé unos minutos extra por querer terminar el ejercicio, así es que espero me disculpen, ¿sí? No problem, yes, teacher. No problem, teacher. No problem, teacher. No, teacher gracias. No problem, no problem, teacher. teacher. El teacher se ríe. Para Algo así como, oh, no problem, ya teacher. Ya casi buscando la cama. Por algo se ríe, Lisset se queda riendo y dice, ah, se dio cuenta al fin, dijo. No, teacher, nada que ver. Ok, I'm sorry, but... Uh, Thank bueno, you, con, con esas imágenes se las voy a compartir, creo que no se las he enviado, ¿cierto? No. No, teacher, no las envió. Ok, no. ahora sí se las voy a enviar porque necesito que les queden por ahí de, de recuerdo de esos ejercicios. Okay. Okay. Thank you very much. I hope to see you tomorrow. Uh, now you are ready to take the, the midterm exam. I, I, I know that some of you already got 100% on it. Ya algunos lo tomaron y había ahí solo cienes, cienes, cienes. Así es que congratulations and I do really sorry. Okay. I took some minutes more. And I don't know, uh, today, the term me for Mayra, I guess. Yes, it's number 15, it's Mayra. But at least I don't know if you have time or, or you are tired. It's up to you. If, you. if you have any question, I can help you at the end of the, of the section or it's up to you, but all depend. Yes, okay. Thank you very much. Good night. I hope to see you tomorrow. Lo siento. Good night, teacher. Good night. Good night, everybody. Good night, teacher. Good night, everybody. I don't know why I got some problem with my with my clock. I got uh, a different hour. No sé por qué mi teléfono tengo hora diferente a mi computadora. Suele pasar tres veces. Sí, pero no sé por qué se me ha como desconfigurado si se supone de que se actualizan solos. A mí se me adelanta la del trabajo. Cinco minutos. Imagínense, y yo me confié de que iba bien con el tiempo pensando porque en una me aparece, me aparecía con baja la hora y en la otra me aparece y veo, wow, me pasé tantos minutos. Así es que lo siento. <risa> <risa> Okay, uh, Mayra, I don't know if you have any question about any topic that we have started. If you uh, have any question, okay, just let me know. I'm going to help you. Si tiene alguna pregunta. Ajá, yo tuve problemas con la plataforma, pero eso fue en el ejercicio, para, fue para la primera unidad. Yo ese ejercicio no lo pude realizar y lo dejé así porque no lo pude hacer. Ajá, ¿y por qué no me dijo? Es que según yo sí podía, pero a la hora de la hora la hice y estaba, me salieron malas. Y de ahí se, se me quedó así y ya no, dije, lo voy a volver a intentar otra vez, pa. tal vez sí. después. Y ya no, ya no, ya no intenté, la verdad, ya no intenté. Ah, ok. Para, exactamente ya. cuál es. Ya ok, no. se recuerda. Sí, espérame, creo que le tomé screenshot. A ver si no me saca, porque me sacó el Zoom como dos veces. Ok. Quiero ver. Aquí lo tengo. Que le tomé captura a eso que no podía realizar. Ay, mire, de, de hecho me quedaste en, en blanco, me quedó. Ah, de verdad. 
Uh -huh. No sé cómo, si me da chance de compartírselo, teacher, o no sé, para que lo pueda ver. Ahorita. Porque yo creo que es el único que no, ese ejercicio sí no lo hice. Ojalá no sé. Sí. I'm going to give you the chance to share it. Okay. Ahí, ah, sí, lo, ahí, lo, ahí lo puede compartir. Quiero ver este. Si no, solo díganme el número de, de. Ah, mire. Lo puede ver, dicho. Ok, permítame. Yes, I can see it. Uh -huh. Ese. Ese no, no sé. Me okay. salía malo. La 1.5. Introduction. Read the same below. Reduce the adverb clause to adverb phrase. <laughs> ah. Okay, after they sound too song. The performance, the, the dance. Ok, pero no, no, no veo ni la, ni la opción que usted escribió ahí. Bien extraño que no me lo, ahorita me lo tira que le, al screenshot que le tomé, pero metiéndome en la compu sí me salía lo que yo le había puesto, que me salía en rojo, que estaba mal. Ah, ok. Aquí, para resolverlo, tiene que tomar en cuenta... Uh, some rules that I already explained. Mm -hmm. If you if you can you can stop chatting now. Si gusta deje de compartir. Va. Va ahí está. Qué otra. Let me see it here in my. Sí, porque ese tema de los de los other clothes sí estuvo. No, no mucho. Ok, permítame un segundo. Ahí está, izquierda, 1.5 es. But this is not 1.1. Tiene que ser la 1.5. Es this. Ok, para resolverlo, um, you need to remember that uh, you need to identify first what is the, the, the subject. ¿Cuál es, el, ¿Cuál es el sujeto o cuál es el pronombre ahí? En ese caso, por ejemplo, uh, necesita quitarlo. Y el verbo lo va a convertir en ing uh -huh. para que le funcione. En ing. Yes. Let me see. I'm going to show you something here. Ya le muestro dónde están las reglas para hacerlo. Le digo en qué página se encuentra para que se lo repase a usted. Y eso lo vimos como a finales de enero. Sí, por eso ahorita lo estoy buscando. Quiero ver. Ok, with soccer of analysis. De la, tiene que ser de la unidad 1, ¿cierto? Ok, hold on a second, permítame un segundo, por favor.
Que hablamos del presente perfecto, después del SWOT análisis. Y después de eso. Ok, I got it. I'm going to share with you. Le voy a compartir. Así rapidito porque ya es tarde. Okay, aquí está. This is the rule to reduce an adverb clause to a phrase. Do the following. Para reducir una, adver una cláusula adverbial a una frase, haga lo siguiente. Eliminate the subject in the adverb clause. Vamos a eliminar el sujeto en la cláusula adverbial. Okay, siguiente. If the clause has a form of the be, the verb be eliminated. Si la cláusula tiene una forma del verbo be, la vamos a eliminar. Que podría ser is, podría ser a, am, si fuese en presente. Eh, o are. Y se, después dice, if the clause has any other verb different from be. Si la cláusula tiene otro verbo diferente al be, agregue ing. Entonces, esto significa que la oración que usted tiene dice, after they sang two songs, the, the performer did a dance. Entonces, lo primero que vamos a hacer es identificar cuál es el, el qué cosa, el sujeto de esa oración. Cuando ya identificó usted el sujeto, el sujeto, entonces se lo va a quitar. ¿Sí? Mm -hmm. Si tiene una forma del B, la va a eliminar. Y si el verbo que aparece es diferente al B, solo le va a agregar ING. Mm -hmm. No sé si me comprendió. Sí, pero fíjese que yo, pero es que o sea, como no me salió ahí las que yo había hecho, porque no. yo le quité. A unas y me salían mal. Mm. Sí, pero es de, es de quitar el sujeto y después, eh, si no hay una forma del B, el verbo, si está en pasado, usted lo va a poner en presente y le va a agregar ING. Uh -huh. Lo que caso. voy a hacer es que sí. quizás lo voy a realizar y se lo, bueno, si no me sale, va, me vuelven a salir mal, se, la, se lo voy a, le voy a volver a preguntar, se lo mando okay. por WhatsApp. Ok, perfecto. Para que me lo, me lo, usted me lo vea, ya, si no me llegaran a salir, yo creo que ya le, ya le, le agarré ahí más o menos. Ok, eso se encuentra en la página, I'm going to tell you oh, the number of the page, it is 15, en la página 15, ahí está. Mm -hmm. Ahí lo puede buscar. Ok, try to do it. If you, don't, if you can, uh, just let me know. Send me a message. Me manda un mensajito. Inbox. Right. And I'm going to help you, ok? Ok. Ok, thank you very much. I hope to see you tomorrow. Good night. Good night, teacher. Gracias. Ok.